Low Tankers. In today's episode, we'll be having an in-depth look at the new Magnum Artillery turret and getting more backstory about its creation. We'll also be telling you about a cool giveaway we're having, where you can get the new Magnum turret for free. The hottest topic in the game right now is the release of the new Magnum Artillery turret in Tanky Online. Let's have a closer look at it. From day one, the rocket launcher and artillery were conceived as turrets that would be challenging to play, take lots of time to master, and probably not multi-purpose. Striker and Magnum took roughly the same time to develop. However, while the rocket launcher was more demanding on the programming side, artillery took longer in the creation of graphics and sound effects. Before they actually started working on the Magnum, our game designers were considering two possible variants for this turret. The classic artillery, where the barrel goes up and down, and a kind of bombard, which is a short barrel cannon, where the turret has a fixed angle but can rotate horizontally. We choose not to make the bombard because we didn't find it cool enough. Our plan was to have an artillery turret that would be great at mid to long distances, but suffer at close combat. It's not just the controls of the turret that work differently, but also the sound effects. For example, the sound of a shot depends on its speed. Here's the sound of a slow shot. And here's what a shot at maximum velocity sounds like. Artillery also has two new kinds of sounds. The first one is the sound the projectile makes when it's about to hit you, like when a striker rocket flies close to you. So when Magnum is about to hit you, you will definitely hear it. The other one is a distant booming sound. You will hear this no matter how far away you are from the turret. And it is a reminder to all the players on the map of Magnum's terrifying power. Now the practical part. Artillery is very good at team battles. But if you're skillful enough, you can also be quite successful at deathmatch. These are the turret's strong points. Huge damage. Artillery with double damage can one-shot kill a heavy hull of the same modification level. The biggest splash damage in the game. In fact, it is not uncommon to deal damage to two, three or even four tanks. The ability to shoot from behind cover. You can deal damage to enemies from a point where they can't hit you. But what about the weak points? This is a very new and really challenging turret to use. First of all, the control keys work differently. Pressing the left turret rotation key will point Magnum down, and vice versa. It can be a bit confusing at first, but as you might know, it's now possible to customize controls. The second is that this turret gives you limited visibility, because it doesn't rotate horizontally. This makes it impossible to look around while driving to a location. And of course, there is the huge self-damage that can ruin your kill-death ratio. One more thing. Although this turret can fire from behind cover, its booming sound, big flash, projectile trail and long barrel sticking out from behind cover make it fairly easy to find. And here's an important tip. Shaft can actually hit Magnum's barrel. Damage indicators are a very important tool for the artillery user, since you can't always see where your projectile has landed and whether there is anyone there. But thanks to this feature, you'll be able to know whether you need to correct your aim or whether you've destroyed your target and need to find another one. So make sure you always keep the setting activated. And to conclude, why Magnum? Couldn't you come up with uh, something better? This name won because of the raison d'etre, the why. In Latin, Magnum means the great. High-caliber shells are also called Magnum. Additionally, it is an international award and most people pretty much understand that Magnum is something powerful. We've already got some cool gameplay videos from some of the top YouTubers in our community. Make sure you check them out. The links are in the description. We talked about how Magnum's recoil would make it a great turret for parkour. So two giants in the international community's parkour scene have put aside their rivalry and collaborated to bring you the first ever parkour with Magnum. Please welcome the Flying Parkourists and Fight and Flight for your entertainment.
Over the past week, tanky community managers have been playing around with the new turret, sometimes in regular battles, but mostly against each other in office battles, with everyone using Magnum. It's pretty fun, actually. If you're itching to try the new turret, you can buy it right now. Or you can try to earn it. On Thursday, 23rd of March, we launched a special giveaway similar to the one we had for Strikers release. Every day during the event, we'll be randomly choosing a winner from among those players who have made 500 plus kills in 24 hours in regular non-pro battles. Additionally, tankers who make over 1000 kills in 24 hours will get a free Griffon TF module with Magnum resistance. You can find the link to the full contest details in the vlog's description. Make sure you read the rules and the FAQ. Good luck! Video of the week. Last week's theme was open. Let's see the best entry. Well done! For next time, the theme will also be open, but you need to be using Wasp with the orange paint. That's it for today! If you still have questions about Magnum, ask us in the comments below or on our forum. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next week! Last time, you had to guess how many flips Wasp would do after being shot by one hammer and three railguns on the Esplanade map. The correct answer is 5. Here are our winners. And here's the new question.